Good to have you back with us on the cafe. And Max Cryer is one of New Zealand's best loved writers and broadcasters. His new book, Superstitions, looks at the origin of many things that we say and we do in everyday life, from avoiding walking under ladders, blowing out birthday candles, even wearing a wedding ring. We can't talk about that because I've lost mine. <laughs> Most of us follow a superstition or two without even realising why we're doing it. With Friday the 13th just around the corner, we thought that we should find out more. Welcome, Max. <laughs> Thank you. Don't worry about the wedding ring. Oh, is because, it okay? Well, I'm sure you're oh. still married in spite of not Well, having... I am, funnily yeah. enough. <laughs> <laughs> that is really but it, it, The curious thing is that when I was w researching and working on this book and now when I'm talking about it, I meet so many people who say, oh, I'm not superstitious, I don't believe in any superstitions. And I say, well, why are you wearing a wedding ring? That's not a superstition. Yes, it is. It dates back thousands of years to when people believed that there was a special vein in your body that went from that finger to the heart. Right. Straight to the heart. And if you put a ring, which is the symbol of eternity, a circle with no beginning or end, that makes sure that your romance will last forever on that vein to the heart. Well, I'm sorry to say that the medical fraternity disclosed that there is no vein from the finger to the heart, so it is a load of rubbish. <laughs> but, <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with it. It's it nice looks good. It, it's become a custom and it identifies that a person is married, so there's no problem. Unless, of course. <laughs> Unless, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I have some rings on, but they're not my wedding rings, but they kind of look okay, don't they? Uh, well, well, let's talk about some others that we mentioned in that intro there. Walking under ladders, the blowing out of birthday candles. Well, the cakes. walking under ladders one is said to be because it's a triangle and when the Christian religion became important in the world um, it is it is it promotes the, the image of the Holy Trinity the Father the Son and the Holy Ghost and Christians who are very um, faithful to their faith think that that is a try they think of it as a triangle right so if you walk through a triangle you're tempting fate wow. and it is amazing how many people who don't even know that are still cautious about walking under a ladder i never walk under a ladder no but, i don't either no. but there's a way around it if you walk under the ladder and you're not happy keep walking and when you see a dog the spell is broken <laughs> <laughs> well that is good to know are you superstitious yourself uh, I suppose I get caught with the ones that are customs, like I always clink glasses, like if the chairman's going to make a speech and we propose a toast, I clink glasses, as does everybody. Pure superstition, because you clink glasses to make a noise to frighten the evil spirits away from the room. Um, so yes, I do that one. I'm partial to four-leaf clovers. I quite like the idea of... Have you got any four-leaf clovers? I have seen one or two four-leaf clovers. It's the symmetry that appeals to me, the four mm. leaves. But that's about all. Okay, I'll tell you what, we're going to ask Jesse, <coughs> excuse me, a barista, if he's got a superstition. You got one, Jesse? Yeah, so I work in the performing arts, so we always say, break a leg. Now, oh. Max, I was wondering if you know where that, where that comes from. Well, um, you might not like knowing that it comes from the German military. <laughs> it's not, it's, it doesn't really qualify right. as a superstition, but it, it arose during the German military. It's German, Hals und Beinbruch, break a leg and neck. And, <laughs> and, okay. and it meant um, it meant that you weren't going to break it. You see, if you it's on the umbrella principle. If you are going out in good clothes and you don't want it to rain, take an umbrella, and it won't rain. So if you say to an actor who's just about to step on stage, break a leg, and we all do that, mm -hmm. it means he won't. It means nothing will go wrong because is, you, it's a reverse superstition. Is there any difference between the superstition and just a belief? Or are they the same thing? Well, you're treading on delicate territory there because with the growth of world religions, most of which are newer than the era of superstitions when they're growing up, um, that's called faith. And I don't want to tread on that. I skirted around that carefully because Good. that would be offensive. We're certainly not treading on that at this time of the morning. I'm really interested to know how long it took you to <laughs> research this book. Well, two years at least. And I waded through more superstitions than you can possibly imagine. And even today, right here on Cafe, several people have come up to me with superstitions I've never heard of before, and it's too late to put them in. I, think I could talk to you all day, <laughs> yes. uh, but, uh, but we don't have the time. We've, well, yeah. we, we, we do have your book, Superstitions. It's available right now, and it's certainly worth reading. Max, thank you so much. It's a pleasure. It's been a pleasure having you here. Such fascinating stories. I really could listen to that just all the time. Mm. You have oh. a good day, Max Touchwood. <laughs> <laughs> the trouble is, you can't find them. Want to touch. <laughs> touch I'll use my head. Yeah. <laughs> and, and all of our audience are getting a copy of Max's book so you can read more about these superstitions as well. If you want to get a hold of a copy, it's in all good bookstores right now.